Okay, so we've got this really fancy box right over here and this is the Vivo Y76 5G. And as you can see right here, Vivo has partnered with Mobile Legends Bang Bang to offer something really exclusive out of this phone, which they have actually told us that you get to uh, earn some exclusive skins when you play Mobile Legends Bang Bang with the Y76 5G. So personally, I do not play Mobile Legends Bang Bang, but to you guys who play Mobile Legends, let me know who these two characters are because I have no idea who they are. But without wasting any more time, let's get into the unboxing of the Y76 5G. All right, so plastic off, and we're gonna take the phone out by pushing the box just like this. All right, so once you take the cover out, there you go, and here it goes. This is the standard white Vivo packaging that we all have been very familiar with. And we are going to just take out the phone just like this. First level, you get the TPU case, of course. And you get the phone. This is it. We have it in the cosmic black color. Okay, by the way, this phone comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. And the processor that's powering this phone is a MediaTek Dimensity 700 chipset, which is actually pretty okay. It's kind of like a mid-range chip, but it's not too bad, all right? And this is how the phone looks like. And finally, we get to check out the rest of the contents here. So what makes the Y76 5G really special here is that for a 1299 ringgit phone, you are getting a 44 watt fast charging, which is something that's really amazing if you're someone who really wants fast charge on your phone. And of course, uh, you do get a the standard USB-C cable. You also get Earphones, something that I haven't been seeing in a while in phones, but they do give you an earpiece here, which means this phone has a headphone jack. So we're gonna put everything right aside here and talk about the phone. Now, first impressions, the Y76 5G is a pretty lightweight phone and measures 7.79 millimeters thin. Now, that's actually pretty impressive considering that it has a pretty huge display at 6.58 inches. Now, on the back here, you get a really nice satin texture finish and this cosmic black color is really nice as it shines upon the light. It goes from black to gray and gray to black, which is actually pretty nice uh, for a phone like this. And you also get this really nice uh, camera bump over here that isn't too thick and I find it to be pretty premium when Vivo uses this kind of camera bump. At least it doesn't look like any other phones out there. So that's something that we have to comment Vivo on. Now on the right here, you do of course get a shiny chrome finishing frame over here and you get a fingerprint sensor built right into the power button and you get the volume rockers on the right here. And they actually feel nice in place as you can really press on them properly. Now on the front here, like I mentioned, this is a 6.58 inch display with a full HD plus resolution. So no 90 Hz or 120 Hz refresh rate display right over here, which can be a little disappointing for some, but I can tell you that this is not a disappointing display. As you can see, it is really bright and the colors are really great for an IPS panel. Now the bezels around the phone here is actually a little thick, but it's not the thickest that I've seen. So I guess that's actually fine considering that this is a mid-range phone. You get a pretty standard dual drop camera notch right over here. Here, which we have been seeing for many many years really so that is something that we have gotten used to looking at it so on the front here you get a 16 megapixel selfie camera which i've actually tested and it looks pretty great makes me like a really great k-pop star next let's uh, take a look at the cameras right now so we are going to turn on the screen recording feature so i can actually show you on screen on how it actually looks like all right all right so you do get a couple of standard camera modes right here in the camera software that includes the photo video portrait and even night mode now going over to the more tab right over here you get a couple of more camera modes such as the 50 megapixel uh, camera mode and you do get this really nice dual view feature that activates both the front and rear camera at the same time so that you can use this phone to do vlogging if you actually want to. Now let's do a really quick picture taking right over here and see how well the image quality looks like. Let's take a look at this box here. One, two, three, catch up. There you go. And what we're seeing right here is a pretty possible picture. Um, details are okay. It's quite possible. It's not, it's not the sharpest image that I've seen, but colors are actually quite accurate considering the fact that we have uh, studio lightings all over here. Right now, let's quickly take a look at the video mode right over here. So the video mode is pretty standard. There's not much of features that you can do with right over here. So of course you do get filters. You also get 
uh, beauty as well, which is actually cool. If you're taking videos of someone else, you can actually beautify their face if you want to. So you do get the ultra steady feature, the stabilization feature, and you do also get a, a video, video resolution that's up to 1080p, 60 frames per second. No 4K video recording, unfortunately, but I guess that's something that not many people do do these days. So 1080p, 60 frames per second is actually fine. Now let's switch over to the front camera right now. As you can see right now, the camera makes my face super smooth and makes me like a super K-pop star. So if I actually turn off the beauty effect right over here, you can actually see my face facial features. There's a lot of freckles and everything is pretty ugly. So if you turn on back the beauty mode, there you go. Your face looks totally perfect. It looks totally flawless. <laughs> it's something that I think girls will really like. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much about the camera of the Y76 5G. And next, we are going to find out the gaming performance since Vivo is partnering with Mobile Legends Bang Bang. But I'm not going to play Mobile Legends on this phone. But in fact, I'm going to play some other things on the Y76 5G. And the game we are going to test on the Y76 5G is Honkai Impact 3. This is a game with really nice graphics and can really tax your phone's GPU if it really needs to. Now, to be frank with you guys, I'm still pretty much an amateur on this game. So do bear with me if I'm not good at the gameplay. Now, let's check out the graphics setting right now. So let's go over to the settings right over here and go over to video. As you can see right now, it is now on the recommended quality right here. Let's try to increase the graphics quality up to the quality mode where you can play it in 60 frames per second. Now let's save the setting and let's see whether it can really play smooth 60 frames per second. And yeah, it does. Look at this. The details are actually nicer now. I can definitely see some anti aliasing going on. I can still see a little bit of jagged edges right around here, but overall it looks nicer than before, right? So it's not entirely anti aliasing, but then it actually looks pretty nice. All right, let's play the story mode, attack, and let's go into some levels right over here. Prepare and start. Okay, I'm just going to increase the speaker volume a little. Now, one thing I'm really glad about the Y76 5G is that the speaker is located on the right side over here. It is a mono speaker, by the way. There's no secondary speaker on the earpiece here. And as you can hear, the sound actually sounds pretty good. So I'm, I'm glad that my hands will not block the speaker as I'm holding the phone like this. And let's play the game right now. All right, I can definitely notice some uh, some graphics jagging right over here. It's not the sharpest graphics over here. So definitely Honkai Impact, uh, I think MiHoYo has definitely optimized the game for uh, such kind of phones with mid-range processors. So, but then 60 frames per second is pretty consistent, all right? So that was a pretty smooth gameplay on the Y76 5G as you can see just now. It handled Honkai Impact 3 like a champ and I'm pretty impressed that the phone doesn't really get hot after some periods of gaming. It feels warm but not uncomfortable to hold. Now in terms of battery, I believe it could last you a couple of gaming sessions because it has a 4100mAh battery right inside here. So I think this is going to be a great phone if you don't want to spend a lot of money to buy a phone to game. All right, so that's pretty much about my first impressions and thoughts about the Vivo Y76 5G. There will be a full review coming right up on the channel, so definitely stay subscribed for that and be sure to follow us on social media and I will see you guys in our next video.